I was totally going to try it, and then I saw that, that guy die jumping down there, so. I just don't know how you would get dead. There has to be something you can fight because of that. Wait, where the fuck am I at? I went to the wrong... I went to the wrong lamp. You know what I wish? I wish you could travel to whatever lamp you wanted instead of having to go back to the Hunter's Dream to then go to, like, where you want. This game's, like, the only game where you had to do that, where you, like, had to go back to the hub in order to fast travel. I don't even know which one it is, then. Which lamp is it? It has to be, it has to be like over here, right? I don't even know which one I went to. Lecture building, we got Amidala's Chamber, Nightmare. I thought it was this one, but I don't know. Nightmare Frontier, I don't think that's it. I honestly have no idea like what, like what lamp it is. I thought it would be this one, but I'm not sure. I probably should have been paying attention to what the lamp was called when I... Yeah, this just puts me outside, and I don't really want to be outside. Well, the light's gone, so I'm not getting frenzied anymore. Still a ton of enemies around here. Well, shit. Alright, see you later, buddy. Talk to you later. Which one could it be? Is it maybe this one? I don't know. Murgo's Loft. I don't know. I can't believe I don't remember what lamp this is. Guess we'll go here and see. I think this is where I went to before. Maybe? Where the fuck? No, this just... This just brings me over here, which is like a shortcut. Wasn't there another, like, elevator that came down here? Alright, so I ended up getting a little lost trying to, trying to find my way back here, so... Hopefully I end up editing that out. I probably will. It was, uh, it was a decent length of time trying to, like, get back here. I was trying to find the quickest way to get back here, but I just could not figure it out. So I just ended up going one of the one of the longer ways. It didn't even take that much time from the longer way anyway. So you have this exit, which brings us here, but I want to see what happens if you jump down. Apparently, according to that one guy, you just die. I'm not sure. I swear this is where we dropped that, like, giant, nasty brain thing, though. I swear it was. Wondrous bloodstone. Alright, so if I jump down here and die, not too big of a deal. I lose, what, 3,100 blood echoes? Who cares? Alright. Let's jump down here and see what we get. We get death. It is death. So I did all of that running around just to come back here and die. Now, of course, you could need a specific item equipped or used to get down here. I have no idea. It might be like the original Dark Souls where you had to have uh, the Abyss Ring on or whatever it was to get into the Abyss to kill the four kings. But I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, for all I know, that could have been the whole area. Just, you know... But why would we drop that giant brain thing down? It doesn't make sense. There has to be something else, you know? There has to be something else. I'm just not sure. I have no idea. I mean, I guess things can kind of resume as they were. 
Now I need to figure out how to get back to where I was. Of course, there were a couple shortcuts, but now I can't remember where those are at. I can't remember where anything's at. I could just try to run through this area again. We know how well that went last time. There's, like, so many elevators in this area. Oh, oh hold on. This could be it right here. This could be it. I just wish I could have jumped down there and, like, fought whatever it was that we dropped, but... I got no clue. Whatever, I still... Oh, shit. I still got some stuff out of it. I got the, uh, the bloodstone or the blood... Whatever it was, the big thing I needed. The blood slab, I don't know what it was called. Whatever. Let's come up here and see what we got. A whole bunch of people with menses cages on. Sitting here dead. Nice moon. And this is... I'm pretty sure it's a boss, so... This looks pretty bossy, right? Definitely does. Nice circular arena. Nice baby carriage in the middle. I have no idea what this is. Some sort of altar or something. Alright. Let's go check on this baby. Oh, they're, in, they're invisible, it looks like. Their face is invisible. That's kind of... Oh, what the fuck? She was, like, right next to me. Alright. Oh wow, that actually hit. How none of my none of my attacks hit. I was like two inches away. I was pretty close to getting some hits off, but apparently not. I have no idea what the fuck's going Now it's like all foggy. What the fuck? Oh, she's fucking pissed. Whoever this is. Oh, what the? There's multiple. What? There's like multiple ones. Alright, alright, calm down. Trying to get some hits in. Trying to get some damn hits in. Wow. Great, now there's two of them, and one of them just teleports around randomly. This kind of sucks. Oh, fog's gone. Perfect. Now I don't have to deal with the teleporting one, hopefully. I got her stunned too. Look at that. Murgo's wetness. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what that this thing's supposed to be. Oh, this thing is fucking dead. See you later. Is that the end of the fight? Was a baby crying? Uh, is there is there anything else? Anything else gonna happen? No. Yes. Maybe. Something I gotta do. Oh, nightmare slain. And there's the other one third of the umbilical cord that I need. And now there's a sweet lamp here that I can go back and level up with. 
I think this was the last boss before the final, before the final boss. Before we go there, let's go down here. This NPC is still here. Does this NPC have anything to do? Okay, well, I guess that answers that. <laughs> I guess that answers that question. She bows and leaves. Maybe we did her a favor. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know if we helped her. I don't know what we did. I would imagine we helped her. She bowed to us and then disappeared. There's some freaky shit going on here. Some freaky shit going on. Alright, let's head back home. Actually, before we head back home, I'm gonna... I'm gonna eat these. We don't really eat them. I guess we just use them. Now I have three of them. I missed one, I think. I missed one from the prostitute. I think they give you, like, one chance to fuck up and miss one. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... Fucking accidentally hits... Now nah, it's all on fire. Everything's on fucking fire here. Why is everything on fire? I don't know. Good hunter, you have come. Dawn will soon break. This night and this dream will end. Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. Good hunter, your presence somehow soothes. I sense the ancient echoes. They course your veins. All right. Farewell, good. Doesn't really seem like she's saying anything different. At least we can. I'm pretty sure we can still use the stuff in here, even though it's burning down. Not entirely sure I got anything too great, and I probably don't need this frenzy resistance anymore. So I can probably go. I'm probably gonna go with these max vials, to be honest. I'm gonna go with max vials. I'm not exactly sure how to fill them up to max, because I'm still a 10, or I'm still a 20, not 10. Did I even put the right thing on? Yeah, I should have, you know, three extra vials. I probably have to sit at a lamp or something. I don't know what I'm going to have to do to get these other three vials. <laughs> can I purchase them? Apparently, I can just purchase them, so I'll buy two. Well, extra three in total, two there. Gammon awaits. Go. Very well. Let. Let's uh. Level up one more time. More damage would probably be good. More health, of course, would be good too. Yeah, let's go with damage. I don't even remember what you're supposed to say to Gehrman over here. In order to... And his gate's finally open. I'm not even sure what you're supposed to say to him in order to... To get the best ending. Alright, so I took a quick break. Took care of some stuff. Looked up uh, exactly what I need to say to this guy so that I don't fuck things up. Pretty sure I used all the, uh, the umbilical cords I had. And I'm pretty sure all you need to do is refuse his offer... And then that sets a whole bunch of stuff in motion. So, if I fuck this up, I'm really sorry. I'd be a pretty big idiot if I fucked it up, but... I mean, there could be something I'm missing. I'm pretty sure you just need the three uh, umbilical cords, and then you need to refuse his offer. So, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, I don't fuck it up too bad. At least we'd still see, like, an ending of the game. It wouldn't be, you know the ending that I was trying to go for because I figured people would want to see the true ending or best ending or whatever ending you want to call it. 
figured people would rather see that than the other endings. Even though I've never done the other endings, I have no idea what the other endings are like, but I figured people would want to see this. Anyway, let's talk to him. Good hunter. You've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. The terrifying